2005, Tracy Morgan returns to television to host SNL. The comedian was in a car accident in June of 2014 that placed him in a coma for two weeks. He returned to the stage in a triumphant manner, repraising some of the roles that originally gave him success on SNL. It was truly a night of homecoming as the cast of 30 Rock came together to welcome him home. We're so happy that you're okay, but we're even happier that you're ready to make people laugh again. If you are looking for a little love this weekend, then check out our number four slot as Janet Jackson comes at the Pepsi Center. The Grammy Award winning artist is coming to Denver as part of her Unbreakable World Tour. If Miss Jackson or Tracy Morgan was not enough super for you, then CBS's premiere of their new superhero show should get your blood pumping. Coming in at number three is Monday's new series, Supergirl. The show is set to follow the life Kara Corell, the cousin of Superman, as she learns about her powers and how to use them. Keeping up with our intergalactic theme, our number two slot comes from a galaxy far, far away, as the new Star Wars trailer was released. Now, previews for big movies usually generate some buzz, but not like this. Within 17 hours, it had almost 14 million views. Tickets went on sale Monday evening, and by Tuesday afternoon, it was reported that over 15,000 tickets had been sold, and several movie sites such as Fandango were crashing. So basically, if you want to see this film when it comes out, then you need to buy your tickets now. Coming in at number one is the musician from Canada, who actually makes good music, so sorry Biebs, not you. Drake this week dropped his new single Hotline Bling, and it has since blown up the web with parodies of all kinds, with more and more being added each day. But some of our favorites are Drake playing tennis and Drake on the stairs. I do, I do. 